Hi everybody, it's Debbie here and I'm here to show you items that I have made for a swap that I was in over on um, EVG Ephemers Vintage Garden Busy Bees Facebook group and this was for an embellished tag swap. We were to do six tags and um, so I'm going to show you what I've made for my partner who is Liz and I'm not going to be putting this up until she's received it because uh, she does a Believe follows follows me, and her YouTube channel is Liz the Paper Crafter, uh, and I'll put a link to her channel down below. So because she does some amazing journals, so these first two that I've done, they are uh, tags that I've put through my embossing folder, and it's a damask design, and I use distress inks to go over the um, oh, the raised parts. The embossed parts, uh, copy dyed, got dyed um, cardstock with a couple different uh, trims put in there, and then this one here is again copy dyed cardstock, and I've done some stamping, and that's not upside down. That's supposed to be a spilt ink jar with the ink coming out. So yeah. <laughs> Because I kept looking at it going, what did I do that for? But then I realized, okay, so there's um, layers of lace, different laces here. And uh, you can't even see it anymore, but part of the um, copy dyed flowers sticking out. And it's book page pocket um, with um, more copy dyed embellishment on there. And then up here, there's a safety pin with some lace and uh, uh, seam binding, a book charm, and made with love. And then this is just uh, some journaling spots. And that tucks in there. And then a tag with a butterfly on it. This is actually some paper, uh, paper pad I had in my stash that I've had forever and I just was cutting it up to use it in different ways. So that's one there. And then this one is very similar. Same idea except this has a garment pin with um, a lock and key. Lace and seam binding. More stamping. A bit of doily there. And then another butterfly tag. And then this one that's got old shoes stamped there. And a lot of journaling on spots there. Um, these next couple tags, this I coffee dyed um, and I get this effect. I have some um, sheet pans from the dollar store. They're just, you know, the tin foil, heavy tin, fo tin foil kind of ones. They're great. I get different designs on them. And then this is, I use parchment paper when I'm copying and tea dyeing my papers, and I use that to make little envelopes and that. So there's a, a lot of layering going on here as well with this tag. And then this is the same idea, except this has a glassine bag and doily and print. A tag there. And then I made a little extra for her. This is just going to be part of the packaging. Um, I have tons of napkins and I love, I'll spend a lot of time separating them while I'm watching TV or a movie or something. And I decoupage them on old dictionary papers that I have. So she's going to get a whole bunch of these different napkins decoupaged on papers. So she can use them any way she wants. This one I didn't cut off because she might want to use that. Really pretty. I've done so many of these. And like I use them like here in layering. Can't really tell that one's decoupage though. This was um, Michael's napkins. And wine corks. 
Um, another thing I'm going to send her, it's a little gift I made for her. And this, I got this idea from Angie Bunner. Um, I think everybody just loves her stuff. So this is a little mini booklet, and I've used a glassine bag that I've coffee dyed. And there's just tons and tons of layering. It feels really cushiony. Um, so this, the front page has a coin envelope, coffee dyed coin envelope. Uh, some decoupage paper, uh, a lot of different laces and trims and doilies and all kinds of stuff and then a tag in goes in to the coin envelope and then up in the corner there's a little uh, garment pin. It's got a um, seam binding, a little tassel and a couple of different tags hanging on there and then it says made with love. And also here we've got a little pocket and it's just some journaling spot that I've done some punching. And then the first page, the, uh, the pages inside mo main, mainly <laughs> have um, images of different women on them. Oh shoot. And I'm going to have to look this up and find out where I got these images from. I think it's Cheryl. I think but tons of layering. There's tulle and lace and more book pages. They, they just feel so cool, really cushiony. I think I might have used um, a few layers of the uh, old dress patterns in there to give that a bit of cushiony too. And then here there's some music. Well, the music paper is part of this image. Aren't they beautiful? Lots of layering. And there's no, these are no tuck spots or anything. They're just pages. Um, they could be used because they are so cushiony. They could be used to stick pins in or something. And then this back page, I think this was the back cover of the dictionary. It was falling off, so I thought, I'm just going to use it. I think it looks cool. And then a little butterfly, layered butterfly. And then the back page, very similar to the front page, a glassine bag and tons of layering. And I did a lot of sewing on this too, just because I like all these threads there. So Liz, I hope you like everything that you are getting. And um, I'm really excited. So that's part of the swap items that are being sent to us. So I thank you so much for watching and I hope everybody has a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye.